Hello, Friendship Factory friends. I'm so glad that you joined us today for Kid City Online. Do you hear that? I think I hear a baby crying. I see a baby. Oh my goodness. Look at this sweet little baby. Oh, I wonder what its name is. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Do you like to play with babies? You do? Babies are so sweet. I bet you have a bunch of them, don't you? Do you have a baby brother or a baby sister? You do? How cool is that? Oh, I love a sweet little baby. Do you know our story today is all about a little baby? Uh, I wonder which baby it is. Hmm, we'll have to find out in a minute when we go down to the clubhouse. Before we do that, we need to practice our memory verse. All right, sweet baby, I'm gonna lay you down, okay? You baby, right here, you do. Oh, you should do, but you put your boots in little baby, baby. Oh, I just love a baby. You be good, you baby, I'll okay, be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have a new memory verse. It is the month of October and we are learning that God is with us wherever we go. So I want you to repeat after me, okay? Here we go, ready? God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. All right, let's do that together, ready? God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Good job, friend. That was awesome. Now, it is one of our favorite times. It is time for us to dance. It is time for us to sing. Today, we are singing one of my favorite songs, Hip Hip Hooray. Do you love that song too? Oh, it's the best. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. See, you already got it. Good job, friend. All right, so I want you up on your feet, dancing and singing, and then we're gonna sing our new song, God is Always With Me, and then we're gonna go down to the clubhouse, and we're gonna go see Ollie and all of our friends, and we're gonna find out who is the baby. Hmm. I'll see you all right back here in just a minute.
slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, Apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh, but you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ah, <laughs> great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away. But she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now, pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, 
Great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm, let's help her watch, okay? Everyone look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow, it's a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story! And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey friends, we're back. Shh. Oh, the eyes are open. So I want you to get a baby. You can get one of your baby dolls. Or you can just pretend that you have a baby and we're gonna carry our baby and we're gonna walk around with our baby. And then we're gonna sit it down very, very nicely. Okay, shh. Oh, I think they're finally asleep. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, we're gonna place the baby. See ya. Wow, in our story today, did the mom, uh, what was the baby's name? Good job, it was Moses. Did Moses' his mother carry the baby around in her arms like we were just doing? You're such a good listener. That's right, she didn't. She actually carried him around in a what? In a basket. And where did she put baby Moses? He was in his basket and where did she put the basket? That's right, in the river. If you remember right, there were some people that were trying to get the baby. So she put the baby in the river and it went floating down the river and the sister watched it float down the river. And then she saw something. Or actually, I should say, she saw someone. Who was it that found baby Moses in the river? Right, it was a princess. It was the princess of Egypt. And she found baby Moses and she picked him up and she took care of him. And you see, the coolest part about that story is that the princess needed help. And so she saw Moses' sister and she called for her and said, can you go get someone to help me with this baby? And who did she go get? That's right, she went and got Moses' mother to come and take care of the baby. Isn't that so cool? 
The reason for that is to help us remember that God's got it. Who's got it? That's right, God's got it. He's always taking care of us. He's always making a way for us to be taken care of no matter what. He's providing for us and he is making sure that we have everything that we need all the time. Now, our memory verse reminds us that God is with us wherever we go. Let's practice it one more time. I left out a part, so let's add that in. Here we go, ready? God is with you wherever you go. I forgot the marching part. We gotta add that in. Joshua 1, 9. Let's do it one more time, ready? I'm gonna not say it this time. I'm just gonna do the moves and you say the words. Here we go, ready? Good job, friends. You're so good at memorizing your memory verse. I'm so proud of you. Now, this story today is to remind us that God's got it. He is always taking care of us. Do you know God provides everything that we need? He provides us with a family for people to love us and take care of us. He provides us with a home. He provides us with food to eat. He provides us with sunshine to fill our days. He provides rain to help things grow. He provides us in a beautiful world for us to just be in awe of all of the creation. And most importantly, he provides a way for us to be his friend forever and ever. And who is that through? That's right. That's through Jesus. So I want you on the count of three, I want you to think of something that God has provided for you. And when I count to three, I want you to say it as loud as you can to the screen. Okay, you ready? Think about something that God has provided for you. One. On the count of three, you're going to say it out loud. Two. Ready? Three. Wow, God has really provided a lot for you guys. That is so awesome. If you will, will you pray with me? And we're going to thank God for all the things that he provides for us all the time. Let's pray. God, we love you so much. We thank you for all the ways that you provide for us. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our food. Thank you for our houses. Thank you for our church. Thank you for these videos so that we can learn about you. And we thank you for all of our friends that you've given us. And most importantly, we thank you for Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today for Kid City Online. If you haven't had the chance to pick up your October activity pack. They are right outside the front glass doors in a tub labeled Kid City. And when you open it up, you'll see a smaller little bin inside that says preschool. So be sure and get you one of those activity packs. Now this week, we are um, going to be coloring a baby Moses in a basket. And then you have a piece of green paper that you need to cut up into strips. And you're going to put it on top of the baby Moses to hide it. So that's all you have to do this week. And we will see you back next week on Kid City Online.